six girls from Alfia are having their vaction in a far of lake from their school. They are Bloom, Stella Flora, Musa, Tecna, and Layla. There they were having a good time. The girls were having all the fun they can get and do, swimming in the lake, singing songs and more. But all this has caught the attention of the mysterious being under the lake who has been watching the girls for some time. The six were soon resting in Thea, hot, bikinis in the shade. Flora, wow what a day. Bloom, yeah this is one cool vacation. Then a bored Stella said. You know I wish some interesting would happen at least. Then it did. Musa, hey look. She pointed out a figure on the lake. It was a girl much like them, in a pink dress who is walking on the lake surface. Tecna, who is she? Layla, what's she doing here? The woman that created six large bubbles that then head for the girls and trap them inside. Bloom, what's going on? She then took them deep under the lake where there was an underground cave. In there is a magnificent castle, she then took the girls in a throne room. There sitting on a throne was a very beautiful woman in a silk red dress and a golden crown. Girl, I have them here my lady. Woman, well done, you may go now. Girl, yes my queen. The girl soon teleported out. Woman, welcome intruders, I am Queen Kala. Bloom, why did capture us? Kala, oh nothing other than trespassing my kingdom. Stella, hey you could have put up signs or something. Flora, we're sorry but we didn't know this was your kingdom. Kala, maybe but I don't let anyone of so easily. If you want to get out you have to beat me. Musa, we'll do it. Bloom, if that's what it takes let's go girls. The girls transformed into their fairy forms and escaped the bubbles. Kala, come on then. The girls soon fired several beams at her but she blocked them of easily. Layla, she's stronger than we taught. Kala, my turn now. The queen soon targeted the girls with six beams that hit them directly. The girls' clothes soon disappeared and they were wearing pink frilly bra and panties. Bloom, eek. How'd she do that? Covering herself. Tecna, this is embarrassing. Kala, the fun is just beginning. She then snapped her fingers. Then the girls were posing like sexy supermodels. Stella, ah. She's controlling us. Flora, it must be these underwear. Kala, it gets even better. She moved her fingers around and paired each of the girls. Bloom Flora. Stel Layla. Musa Tecna. Now begin. The girls proceeded to tickle each other. Bloom, ha 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 wait stop. Flora, please ha ha ha. Layla, have me see he 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 he. Kala, to do that you must surrender to me and be my prisoners. Stella, okay we will ha ha ha. Tecna, you win you win. Ha 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 ha. Kala snaked her fingers and the girls stopped and late on the floor breathing hard. Kala. Good welcome to my kingdom of Sisia. The six girls are now prisoners of the queen of Sisia. The queen trapped the girls in some new bubbles who were still wearing their new undies, and then takes them somewhere in the castle. Bloom, where are you taking us? Stella, I hope it's Noah's smelly dungeon. Kala, oh don't worry, I want everything in my kingdom looking pretty, even my prisoners. She then come to a large room. The girls wondered what it was and realized it was a large bathroom. It was brightly lit, and had a pool with bubbles. A pink-haired servant wearing a maid's outfit was there waiting for the queen. Kala, now Mimi I want my prisoners looking nice when I see them again. Mimi, I will get right to it my queen. The queen then left the room, while Mimi approached the girls. Mimi, okay girls let's get you cleaned up. Using her magic she moved the girls over the pool, and on clapping her hands the bubbles popped, dunking the girls in. Musa, well that was nice. Layla, know what? Mimi then removed the girls' underwear with her magic. Mimi, okay girls let's start cleaning shall we? 
she magic some sponges that proc to clean the girls all over. Stella, hey watch it. Flora, oh my this feels good. Bloom, hee hee that tickles. A few minutes later she rinses the girls with a magical shower. Mimi, now let's get you dried up. The girls were lifted in the air and were cleaned dry by towels that she made. Musa, oh careful. Tekna, yeah that's the spot. Layla, are ah, better. Mimi, now to dress you girls up. Mimi then lay the girls on some changing tables. Next she magic some bra diapers and nappies, and put them on the girls. Each of them wore a different color. Bloom, light blue. Stella, gold. Flora, bright pink. Musa, red. Tekna, purple. Layla, light green. Stella, this is quite comfy. Bloom, it's so cute. Flora, I love it. Mimi, the queen will definitely want to see you soon. The next our queen Kala then came into another room which was a play den, it had large widows and is filled with dozens of stuffed toy dolls. There the six diapered girls were playing with the stuffed toys with Mimi looking over them. Queen Kala watched them on the other side of the room. Kala, oh my prisons look so cute. Mimi, do you like them my queen? Kala, yes indeed. You charmed them right. Mimi, yes I did. When they were taking a bath, I used a secret charm on them making them more childish and girly. Kala, good, very good. She then approached the girls herself. Kala, hello girls. The girls saw her and greeted her nicely. Kala, I see you're enjoying your time here. Musa, yeah I guessed, these diapers are really comfy. Layla, this isn't too bad, and it matches me nicely. Kala, I'm glad to hear, it now then let's play another game shall we? Tekna, what kind of game? Kala, let's play ballet. Flora, wow that sounds wonderful. Bloom, I've always wanted to be a ballerina. Kala, then let's get you girls dress up for it. Queen Kala then uses her magic to lift the girls up, then she magics them into some strapless tops and tutus that match their diapers which they are still wearing. Stella, oh this looks good on me. Tekna, wow this is really nice. Flora, this is so nice, it feels really good. Bloom, this tutu is so cute, I love it. Kala, all right then let's get ready for it. She then land the girls on their feet gently and prepares to train them using her magic. Kala first had the girls do some warm-up exercises. Then she had them do some spins, twirls, and jumps. With each movement the girls always show Thea wonderful diapers underneath their tutus. Kala, wonderful now let's rest and have lunch. Mimi, I have it her my queen. Kala, good. Mimi had brought the girls some bottles with milk and sandwiches, without the crust. After lunch the girls started to get sleepy. Kala, I think it's time for a nice nap. Kala then magic some sleeping bags for them to sleep on. She then places the girls gently and tuck them in nicely with magic of course. The girls then doze to sleep. Kala, have a nice nap girls I can't wait till you all wake up.